What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing a photo video shoot for a realtor in Houston. Decided to bring you along. So let's go. So we're working on the video right now and then we're about to do the photos. We had to work around the weather because it's about to get stormy outside and you gotta optimize good lighting and get the shots while you can. Pro tip, always set up all your gear in the laundry room so that it doesn't end up in any of your shots and you can kind of have like a workspace. It always is handy. And also you have to wear all black because then you don't show up in reflections. Yep. <laughs> you have to wear your hat backwards. <laughs> yep. That's it, run over. Literally where we are right now. We gotta get out of here. That car almost hit that one. They were checking out your camera gear. <laughs> oh my God, legit, that car almost hit. Don't you hate it when you're just walking and then all of a sudden you see a big giant mud hole? And then this happens. The absolute worst. I already gotten bit by a bunch of ants, and now my foot was just uh, completely submerged in mud. Kind of scared to see what happens next because we just started. Jeez. Cool. Hey, what are you doing right now? Detail shots. Nailed it. <laughs> So why are you getting the same shot over and over again? I am shooting at different distances to try to get more things as foreground elements to make it more interesting, like this column. That's all. <laughs> That's it, just a little swooping gimbal shot. It's really cool seeing uh, this in action because Taylor does some really awesome work, but I never see the behind the scenes of it, and you guys get to as well. It's oh yeah, cool. this is our first time ever. To actually oh yeah! Do, to actually do a real estate shoot together. It is. So, it's going pretty well. So far so good. Yeah. Somehow we got lucky. Oh, kind of good lighting. It's kind of cloudy out, but yesterday it's like, it was super stormy. It was like practically almost like a hurricane and it's supposed to be raining all week, storming really bad. So we're trying to work around the weather because we're having to do a lot of these shots out of order completely. So he's doing like video details, I already did the exterior rather than like going in sequence with things as I would do things and I think he would too, but we're making it work because you have to. Six burns. So what are some important details to capture in a home? Upgrades, the fancy selling points, the chandeliers, the kitchen appliances, the countertops, fireplaces, pool details, pool upgrades, plants, uh, trees, anything interesting and unique. What are you shooting right now? We are shooting the oven. All the way down there? Way far away, so that we can get some foreground elements in there and make it look more cinematic. Look, it's getting sunny again. Okay. What's up? Speaking of details, fireplace in the master bedroom looks fancy. 
I gotta get that low perspective and dish off more of the like small things that you might not notice on a wide shot and make them look really dreamy and fancy. If you could shoot through there, watch this. Sometimes you just see shots when you're walking around and that's how you find the good shots. Just always watching out, being aware of stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. So I'm just going to do a turn off the light, make it look more dramatic in the that's foreground. Good. Okay. And then we're going to do just like this. Just show a cool little shot of that area, but from a unique, interesting perspective. All right, so what's gear looking like today? Well, we just shot all the details with a 50 millimeter lens. So now we're doing the 16 to 35 to get all of our wide shots. Probably at this point, they're all gonna be 16. We already got some like kind of cinematic shots, some detail shots, some compressed shots, but we'll probably have these at either 16, 24, that's probably it for the wide shots because we already got the 50 perspective. Um, and then we've got, still rocking the Mavic 2 Pro. Um, awesome drone, nothing else to say about that. I uh, got the original Ronin S, uh, the new one's better. Obviously it's like lighter weight and stuff and I wish I had it right now because I'm kind of wiped out. And Andre's been filming some on the 100 millimeter macro with image stabilization and that's it. So what are some main camera moves? to do for filming at home? So almost every time I'm either doing with wide shots, I'll do just literally walking straight, twisting in a little bit towards the focus of the room. I'll do zoomed in just a little bit, side to side, kind of like a slider shot. And then I'll do parallax shots, which is like kind of orbiting around the point of interest. So like for front exteriors for like kitchens and stuff, that's really good. For detail shots, so for detail shots, I mostly just stick with side to side, using some foreground to make it look more cinematic and have some more camera movement, or have some more movement in the frame. That's pretty much it. Sometimes I'll do like just straight up and down, but a lot of times that doesn't really work. Uh, maybe more for like outside or like a really, really open tall room. You can go like this, start really, really high, and then kind of come down into it. And the reason I stick with these mostly is because the more similar camera movements you have, the easier and smoother the edit comes together. So like when you're watching it, it's not doing some totally different crazy movement and it's not hard to watch. So like you're either going straight into something, side to side, really focused on whatever the point of interest is. So it makes it easier to watch, basically. Cool. You out of breath shooting this? Yeah, it's so hot in Houston. Are you kidding me? He's that Virginia weather already. You can literally wear hoodies still. We're done that's it in the real estate industry a lot of the stuff you have to do is kind of changing in the moment and adjusting to work with different lighting different circumstances realtors being on time realtors being late being ready on time or not uh, weather so we did the best that we could for today and now we are 
clocking out. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. And big thanks to Andre for helping me with this video. Uh, that's it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. In Andre's face. Say bye. Bye. We got to get out of here. Big thunderstorm's coming. So, see ya.